The Detroit area is recovering from a rare tornado outbreak. That's right. Officials say a tree fell on a home. This is in the suburb of Livonia. A two-year-old boy died and his mother was critically injured. Reported twisters also downed trees and damaged homes in Maryland. Multiple people were injured, but no deaths have been reported. The National Weather Service is going to be on the ground there today to try and figure out what happened. CBS News Homeland Security and Justice reporter Nicole Skanga is in Gaithersburg, Maryland. That's about 45 minutes minutes just north of Washington, D.C. We can see some trees on top of a house behind you. Nicole, what are you seeing in terms of damage? Yeah, Alana, speaking of damaged homes in Maryland, take a look behind me. As the tornado moved through this neighborhood, it split this massive tree in half. One of the limbs falling on this house. Luckily, no one injured inside of that residence, but just a block away Five individuals were pulled out of a home and transported to area hospitals. They have since been discharged with only minor injuries. You can see some of the damage here on the street. Some cars that were dented during this storm. Fire rescue responded to 88 incidents last night. Uh, take a listen to an official Earl Stoddard describing that rescue here in Gaithersburg. When they arrived, they saw the tree cutting basically straight across the entire house all the way down to the to the to the floor. And uh, there was at least one person who was pinned in the house by the by the tree and some of the debris. They had to get in, stabilize the tree, uh, start to remove some of the related debris, and they were able to squeeze the person out. And this is a really rare sighting here in Maryland, too. Not just one, but two tornadoes hitting Montgomery County, something that this area in Maryland and that area in Michigan you mentioned before in Detroit have in common. They're both outside of Tornado Alley. Tornado Alley researchers saying are shifting. Another thing that's shifting, tornado season, as it's expanding in part due to climate change, researchers say. I'll send it back to you. All right, Nicole Skanga, thank you. Meantime, the southern U.S. is also seeing dangerous weather. Temperatures expected to be as high as 10 to 30 degrees above normal today. You're seeing CBS News senior national and environmental correspondent Ben Tracy, who I should note has been out in the heat all week. Mm -hmm. You covered what? Heat and wildfires in Fireball. You also went through your own namesake town of Tracy. <laughs> Well, I think we saw you yesterday in uh, Mer Merced, California. Now you're in Vegas, which is under an excessive heat warning. So uh, beyond your own heat exhaustion, talk to us about what folks are experiencing there. I understand it could be as high as 112 degrees. Yeah, crazy. Uh, we have been getting around this week, but I will tell you, I mean, the Las Vegas Strip, usually this is kind of wall to wall people, right? There's not a whole lot of folks out here this morning, and I think that's because people know it's going to be awfully hot here today. As you mentioned, the forecast about 112 degrees. If that happens, it would be the earliest that Las Vegas has seen a temperature that hot in the season ever. So that's a big deal. And that's really the story of this heat wave is that all of this heat is coming much earlier in the season than it normally does. And this, of course, is part of this massive heat dome that is parked over the American West right now, impacting cities like Las Vegas, like Phoenix and Tucson, and then up through California's Central Valley. The good news, if there is any, is that we think today is going to be the worst day of this heat dome. There's going to be a little relief coming in the next couple of days over the weekend before this thing kind of reloads again. And a lot of these same cities are hit by heat waves again next week. This does all come with the backdrop of climate change and our warming planet. When you think about the fact that 2023, just last year, was the hottest year on record globally, and the past, te the past decade has seen the 10 hottest years ever. So scientists say we should be prepared for more of this. These heat waves are going to happen more often, and when they do, they're going to be longer and more intense. All Marilyn right. Lana. Ben Tracy, stay cool, stay safe out there. Thanks.